What is going on everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a let's play of some Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. Got a couple. We'll have them all linked in the description. I'm going to start a brand new game. We're going to go through the epic journey. guys let's hop into for 500 years the Calradian Empire dominated the continent its armies scattered foes before them the strongholds of proud tribes crumbled beneath its engines of war from the forests of the north to the wastes of the south. All was brought beneath <coughs> the standard of their legions. Brutal as the conquest was, the wise agreed that it brought peace. The land, now untroubled by armies, grew rich. But empires, like men, grow old. Leaders lose a common cause. Corruption spreads. Old enemies learn the empire's tricks and devise new ones of their own. Until one day, the bonds holding the Empire snap. Then comes the Civil War, pitting all against all. A time of hatred. A time of suffering. But also, even in the worst hours, a time of courage and defiance. As new leaders arise, from new places and new peoples, to turn back the tides of destruction and bring forth a new world. From the ashes of the old. Alrighty. <clears throat> I love how they actually added an intro in. I've been playing the game since pre-release. Pre-release, they just announced the full version, so I decided to hop back into it on a actual campaign playthrough and. Uh, See how much better it's gotten. So let's go ahead and choose our culture first. Let's see. Uh, yeah, so I always usually go for the speed penalty because many of you have played, you know how annoying it can be with getting outrun by bandits and other parties. <laughs> Alrighty. Live formation! Close with them! Move forth! Line formation! I like the one where he just screams. Let's do that guy. Play as a little man. Or a giant. Be nice and well fed. Or a little, a little ripped. Let's, uh, let's go a little ripped. Look at those. I usually just randomize it because I'm terrible at character creation. I guess that's fine. Ooh, what's up? Oh, he's got a little, little piggy nose. There we go, a little bit more elegant. Some nice chompers you got there, buddy. Not bad. Alright, let's get us a big old bushy beard. She 
She has one of those nice big Viking dwarven style beards. <laughs> We'll go with that one. Yeah, let's see some markings. Oh yeah, I forgot you can do uh, like war paint, tribal paint, scars. It's pretty cool. Uh, we'll just we'll start with nothing at the moment. All right, you were born into a family of. Let's go. Some tribes people. As a child, you were known for your attention to detail, aptitude for numbers, way with people, skilled horses, brawn, leadership skills. Let's see. If you skill with horses, you get that uh, <clears throat> riding up a little bit. Get that up for some bow skill. As a youngster growing up in Cal Radio, war is never too far away. Let's see. Uh, join the current. Before you set off for life adventure, your biggest achievement was treating people well, press fund. Pretty good one. Let's go with that one. Many famous in Korea, your life was up and about war. Home was ravaged by the passive army after army. Sold property, set off with father, mother, and brother. Two siblings. They did not make it. Ah. Parents were slain. Let's see. Now draw them off. There goes. And Venrin. Laboratory realistic. Let's say death. Enable death. Enable death and birth. And we'll keep that as that. Brother, it's been three days. Oh, gee. Arrgh! I almost scream in this game. <clears throat> Alright, let's run through the course. Nice little tutorial now. Let's zoom. Free look. Alright. Okay. All right. I do enjoy the uh, the training on this. So if you played Mountain Blade Warband, it's pretty similar control-wise. Alright, so I think I got the basic gist of it. So we're right off into the world. 
Before we do anything else, we're low on food. There's a village north of here where we can buy provisions. Trevere. Okay. So it definitely guides your hand a lot more now, it seems. I'll put it in the steward. Looks like you got your brother with you. We got a thousand gold. And we got some decent starting gear, it looks like. So let's head on over there. Let's take a walk around the village. We're here, I guess so. We need food, and after that, maybe some men to come with us. The headman here could probably help us. Alright. So if you press and hold Alt, it kind of shows you who and where you need to go to. It's kind of nice. We need some help. Some raiders have taken our younger brother and sister captive. They got your people too. Sorry to hear that. They have gone north. A few folk around here will join us. Awesome. No preparations. Come talk to me again. I think you're good to go. Recruit some troops. Got a bunch of calves. Awesome. We'll get a bunch of the green. Make sure to lock those guys so when you auto sell from bandits and stuff, it's nice and easy. He wants us to. I oh, gotta visit him. Now, okay, so at least it brings us right to him. Looking for Tactius. A doctor. It was a few days ago. Came to the road just for the raiders, and the raiders got him. You can keep an eye out for Tactius. I'll be very grateful. All right. So, looks like we have to save our brother and this doctor. And there's some raiders right there. Let's go get them. All right, battle commands. So it's pretty similar to Warband, um, if you're used to that. So you can do the typical follow me, move, charge, engage, fall back, retreat, and all that good stuff. So we'll just do ahead and do a full charge. Usually the most efficient. I got small my brother looks him compared to the rest of those horses. Blood's definitely uh, upgraded for sure. It's not better. God, this mace isn't very good. <laughs> or I'm just terrible. It's probably the second one. I probably just suck. Let's see. There we go. Let's do some foot. Come here, boys. <laughs> All right in the face. Come here, buddy. All right, so I'm definitely a lot better at throwing stuff. All right, so we didn't lose anybody. We killed three and knocked three of them out. Three prisoners, and we got two more troops. Got some new boots, but ours is better. What about for our brother? Yeah. So our gear is better. I can upgrade there. So it looks like we just got to attack all these parties. And like I said, I do have a couple mods in, so we have the banners. Because I felt like that was one major piece missing from the game. You know, Banner Lord, you think they'd have banners? I think they're going to add them in eventually, but until then, I got the mod to kind of fill in the gap. I do have cheats enabled from... Uh, Another campaign I was playing, but I'm not going to be using any of them during this playthrough. I'm probably going to go through and actually disable them here in a bit. Uh, running through the uh, the given kind of color scheme and banner that they give you. 
Um, we'll change our banner here in a sec. Definitely not the world's greatest cavalryman. I think once I get a spear, though, it'll be a little easier. Jeez. I <laughs> just launched him. Another victory. Some more prisoners and another troop. Let's see. So we don't have any handguards, so that's technically better. And the fur armor is worse for both of us. So. That's my brother's actually got some nice little gloves. But we'll rock those guys. And another mod I do have is where it's the split kingdoms. So instead of the five major factions, I got a bunch of smaller ones. It kind of makes the gameplay a little bit more fun. Makes conquering, you know, a little little bit easier in the beginning stages and it just kind of adds a different t type of gameplay to the whole feel of it Jump! and again we'll just go ahead and charge on in Definitely need a spear. I also removed the uh, little orbs of both my troops, uh, just because it kind of takes away the aversion for me. And with the banners mod, it makes it a lot easier to kind of tell who your troops are versus the enemy. Because um, it does also add banners to enemy armies and troops as well, which really adds to that uh, kind of immersion feel. Like I said, I'll leave a, a link to the, the mods that I have on the game. So if you guys are interested in any, um, you guys can go ahead and download them. All of them are going to be off Nexus mods. And I just got messed up. Alright, luckily we won still. <laughs> And that one wounded was myself. We got some more prisoners, and again, some more uh, some more troops. And my brother is pretty low on health, it looks like, as well. You rescue seven prisoners that the raiders have been dragging along. They look parched and exhausted. You give them a bit of water and bread. After a short while, when the stragus comes to defeat, he comes over to you. Oh, there's Tactius. Don't know who you are, but I'm in your debt. These brigands would have marched us to our deaths. Your doctor by trade, blah 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 blah, the Garen. Heat stroke. And we're looking for kids. Nothing about that. <coughs> so looks like you got it from mercenary. And okay, we need to go find the hideout, which no, I guess it just gives it to us. Which is kinda nice. Makes it a little easier. Find the hideout and defeat them. Okay, so we're still on that same. Let's see. We'll sell all that stuff. Like I said, so we'll get some. We'll get a little bit of money. And let's go to that hideout. And it's already at nighttime, so we can just attack it right away. I do wish they added the ability to. Um, to, uh. Take the uh, hideouts during the day. I don't know why you have to do it at night. I always found that super annoying. Um, these are just cutting right through these guys. So hideouts and reverse press F1 and F2. Now you guys just tell me basic commands. Um, another mod I do have installed is the simple RTS camera. 
But it doesn't look like it works on hideouts, so I'll show you guys in the next battle I do. See my troops just running up there, going to going to town on these bandits or mountain bandits. We'll go right, see if we can't cut them off and get some kills ourselves. Yeah, so far we're doing great and killing them, not getting any kills or not getting killed. Great, we got one guy there, one guy down there, and then usually there's a guy way down there. Let's just get this guy here. Die! And right in the face. <laughs> that was fantastic. Well, let's see if I can get him. Ah, didn't lead him enough. See if we can get a long toss going. Let's see. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Missed. Alright, so it looks like that's all of them. Oh, no. That's say it's probably their boss. So who's this that comes through my place of business killing my employees? <laughs> We heard you took our little brother and sister. Where are they? Good heaven, I'll need a better description than that. <laughs> if Harvest doesn't have little breasts. It's kind of messed up. <laughs> Good hunting grounds. I do like this guy, though. Let's see. He wants us to duel, or we can just attack. Uh, honorable thing would be to duel. But I don't deal with honor when it comes to bandits. Attack. And look at that. Knock them all out. So we got zero kills. We lost the zero troops and no wounded. And half and half on them. So we'll get some more prisoners. Yeah, it looks like I'm full on prisoners. No more troops for us this time. Let's see. Got a little bit better clothes. Not bad. All of its food. And some better shoes. Alrighty. We're getting some better gear. Let's do it. I recognize defeat when I see it. I am right, a ghost. What's up, bro? I just beat you. You haven't cut my throat yet, which is a wise move. I can sure find a way to be more worth you alive. Better help us get our brother and sister back, or you'll swing from a tree. I do like the dialogue in this game. Looks like he's gonna help us out. I drop dead. Dude wants us to keep him all cozy. <laughs> Come across a chest with an old piece of bronze in it. It's so battered and corroded that if you could have had anything from a cup to a crown, it's supposed to be the chest Tactius was talking about. Miserous folly. I was hoping to find more treasure here, but I think business wasn't going too well for Rados Ghost and his gang. You think? Found the string looking metal piece though, it does look too valuable. It could be an artifact Tactius was talking about. Maybe the clans will pay for a hefty price. Let's do it. So we split up, he'll take Gretton. So I guess we're splitting up now. And I gotta go get money. <laughs> Let's see. Select a family name. Clan Fay. Alright, and now we get to design our banner. I do have a banner mod um, on where it adds. Obviously, you can see a ton more options, different, ton more colors. Um, the felt, the vanilla game didn't offer enough in banner design so we'll get this nice little hammer looking let's go I can dig it Taurus over you not free to explore California already on the first day of summer 1084 you found the artifact with Tectius mentioned it Okay, cool. So it has changed quite a lot from when I played originally to what it is now. 
Looks like you got a level up in throwing, which is pretty sweet. Let's see. Increase your drawing speed. And more damage against shields. Uh, draw speed will be nice so we can kind of get it up quick. Yeah, that's what she said. Um, Alright, let's see. So we got to establish our clan. Got to get a thousand more dollars or dinars. Got to get 20 troops. Wait, do we have a bunch of troops? Ah, he took all my troops. And a companion. So let's go back down to the town. See if we can't get some more troops hired. Okay, now we're going back to like peasants and stuff. Okay. So anything with a blue little question mark is, means they need a quest done. Let's see. So let's at least get a couple of troops in, so if we do run across some bandits or not, gonna be slaughtered right away. Let's turn down the music. Score a merchant caravan, go to arena, so I don't have any... Um, I don't think he'll allow us to... Let's go with that caravan. I think we don't have enough troops. Yeah. Alright, let's see. What is Emperor Farian? Oh. Look at that. We already found an Emperor. I am Vendron. Who are you? Rightful Emperor of the Calradians. What is Nezard's Folly? The Great Battle of Penderic. Emperor Nezard led an army. Company by Kuziets, Azerites, collection of Sturgeons, Batanians, and Philindians. Disaster for him, but the victors didn't fare much better. Let's see. I wasn't there. I know Lucan has some thoughts about it. Okay. Let's see. Revenue farming. Okay, yeah. So, I'm just a little too low to do a lot of quests, it seems like, at the moment. Once his daughter found, maybe I can knock this one out. Awesome. Alright, so we got ourselves a quest. Let's see. So, then needs us to go to this town. Ask around the village if anyone saw us around the blacks. Some suspicious characters. They saw a young man. They brought some supplies and rode off towards Zesta. Alrighty. This is over there, but it's telling me to go over here. And tied it off towards this then. Alrighty. So they must be here. Yep, search the village. Alright, let's find these two. I do like the village designs in this game. There, there's a decent variation amount of villages, towns, castles. A lot better than Warband was. Um, really digging the terrains and the train management features and all that. It's really nice to see. Oh, look at that. Doesn't really look captured. Let's talk to her. Who are you? One of the bunny hunters sent by Soreen to track us. Like we're animals, look for enemy have done nothing wrong. As you may have figured out, this woman and I love each other. No, nope. that's kind of what I figured. <laughs> Ran away with him willingly. Who am I to stop love? Call me Cupid. Okay, did I fail? Yep, I guess I did technically fail it. But at the same time, kind of did the right thing. There's some looters. That's quite a lot, though. I don't know if I'd be able to take them. 
Let's see, go to the arena. Nope. Okay, let's see. Caravan ambush. Can I do this one? Nope. Alright, so I need to find me some bandit parties that are lower than 17 that I can actually take on. Deliver the herd. Oh, I bet I could do this one. That's what I'm talking about. Alrighty, so we need to go all the way up here. Alright, let's get this one knocked out. Oh, Lord. Oh, okay, that's not too bad. But I think mountain bandits are better than <laughs> these peasants that I got. So let's send them in. Oh, they got a cav. Let's see. Oh, God. This is going to be a bad fight, I have a feeling. Oh no, look at that. These peasants are going to town on these guys. Okay, I changed my mind. My, uh, <laughs> my peasants are doing a pretty good job. I think I lost like two. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Come here, bro. 1v1 me, bro. Oh, pitchfork straight to the face. It's pretty impressive. Good job, boys. Pretty impressive for a bunch of uh, low recruits, and all of them can get improved. So let's shift to five infantry, two archers. Oh, there we go, boys. We got our first spear. Hell yeah. Alright, now cavalry should be a little bit uh, better. I hope. Or I just suck. So yeah, as you can see, there's like, I think it breaks it down to from like the five factions to, I think it's like 30, 40. Um, you still have like some of the original ones. Um, I think the gold one is the main quest line. Um, but it is nice to kind of, like I said, have a bunch of smaller kingdoms. So that way you can, you don't have to worry about like wars with massive factions right off the bat. You can kind of slowly build it up and then go to town on some smaller factions and then build up from there and then go to town. It really kind of really kind of adds more depth to the game. A victory won by my father. Okay, so Nezard's Folly was a battle where the Emperor lost. Um, and it looks like he was betrayed. Okay, so it just needs me to get some tools, which I think I can probably buy from here. Um, deliver the herd. Not the task. Five give me. It's our mutual friend. Ten hogs. Here's ten hogs. And bada boom, bada bing. Gang needs recruits. Fencing stolen goods. I feel like that's criminal activity. I don't know if I want to do that. We'll get some more. Let's see. There's two. Ooh, no, there's two. Jeez, 245? How many tools did he need? One. Oh, okay, I guess I could do, I guess I could do that. I'm a very rich man, so <laughs> kind of kind of took hit on my uh let's see. Was it worth it? I didn't get paid. I just became friends. Not worth it. <laughs> no. 
I just lost a bunch of money. <laughs> there you go, kids. Live and learn from my mistakes. Help with brigands. Oh, I can't bet we could do this one. Oh, yeah. Two brigands. Let's see. Green is 20. So that's pretty cheap here, actually. Capacity succeeded, so I wonder if it's going to slow us down. Wants you to surrender. And we'll just send the troops on that one. No losses on land. Nice. We'll try it out. Oh yeah, God, we really are slow. All right, let's uh, go sell some stuff. It looks like I also got a headpiece. Awesome. As we slowly make our way to the city. <laughs> I mean, slowly. Let's trade. So those, and those still over capacity. Sell some fish. And we'll ransom some prisoners. Awesome. Now let's go uh, try to find some more quests in some smaller towns. Seems like we can do the small towns versus the large ones at the moment. See anyone able to upgrade? No. Sturgeon recruits. We got the woodsmen, which go to the archer status, and the warriors go to the soldiers. The warrior. Uh, I'll keep those guys for now. Good sized leader party, let's go grab them. And it looks like we're getting some help, so we'll just send the troops in on that one. Island needs access to commons. I am Benjamin. I don't land around here, speak for many people in the village. It's good to meet you. Better dispute with Islam, purchase the right to graze cattle in nearby pastures, but now some of the herders making issues. Alright. Claim I don't have the right, and if you paid him, he does. But we'll get him over there and see what happens. Oh, oh, wait. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, snap. So it looks like those guys are just Charge! going straight at it. Archers! Let's put the archers Move! up there. And let's test out. Yeah. So it looks like the charge game is a lot better. I'm definitely losing some troops in this one. Sucks, but got a new hood, got some new boots, got some new gloves. All right, not too bad, not too bad. I'll take it. It's a uh, Go up to that town, sell some stuff.
Spanish materials. Let's just see what this quest even is. I don't know if you know much about the law here. Craftsmen like me are required to buy raw materials from local merchants. The other side of the bargain is that they offer reasonable prices, but they're not saying that they've come together and agreed on a price that's just too high. If you get around, it wouldn't be too hard. Collect the wool we need. If you can bring, say, six loads of wool directly to me and say something to the merchants, I'm going to pay you 720. Trust companions, the test. Ah, oh, that should be pretty easy. Hopefully I don't get in trouble. <laughs> let's see, so a mule can carry stuff. Let's see. Takes I'll get two mules. I still got money. Let's go to Okay, so we can do our first uh tournament. I'm not even sure if we can reuse this horse, but let's see. Uh, yeah. Go big or go home, am I right? God. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> this is not going as planned. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> oh, go team go. I think my team lost. Oh, I just lost some money. Damn. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> Live and learn, children. Live and learn. Alright. Let's go find us a village that has goats. Hogs, hogs, hogs. Grain boxes. Wool, right? I think that's wool. Yeah, so so far my uh, financial is uh, pretty pretty bad. I think that's wool. Let's, let's see, buy products. No, that's fur. Aha, there's wool. Oh, that's silk. Let's start this guy. Ah. Where do you have a problem? Leadfoot and Lyanna. Her people have been violating shop owners under her protection. Ah, so it's a gang fight, baby. Need that deed to leave. I don't want to pay eight hundred to bribe into the keep. I'll just wait here for him. I gotta leave eventually. Okay, he left. Um, oh, there we go. Look at that. Probably just gonna tell me his end of the version. Yep. All right. So it looks like I just need to talk to a bunch of lords to get the Kent. The uh, the gist, and let's uh, let's just wait for four days. This is gang war. I wonder if it's gonna be like a street fight. Stays kind of long, huh? <laughs> Get us back up to fifteen. Fifteen seems like a decent number. Maybe that guy's got some wool. Yo, buddy. Oh, he's way too fast for me. 
<laughs> Come here, bro. Bro, slow down. Okay, I'm not going to be able to get you. Let's get this one. Alright, now we got to go back. I also do like how it shows your banner outside the castle. I am ready. Let's do this. Oh, this is like straight up a street fight. It's kind of cool. Nah, I'm not going back on my word. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. What's up, bro? Dang. <laughs> we just wiped him. Pretty solid. I'll take it. it says I lost four troops, though. Let's see if it was my four troops or his four troops. Okay, it was his. Awesome. Get another level. And my one handed. Let's see. Shield bashes. One hand weapons. Decrease my hand length so it's a little easier to swing. Got some party upgrades. Sturgy and recruits. Let's get you guys upgraded. Let's go hunt those forest bandits as well so I can go. Brigands. See, I can do the brigand ones. Oh, what up, bro? Easy. There's gotta be more around here. Oh, there we go. Sell some troops and trade some items. Yeah, so clearly looters don't drop that very good items. Um, I think they have sea raiders and stuff in this one as well. Forest bandits, like, no, last time I did tools, I <laughs> lost money. Oh crap. I totally forgot I need to find wool. Let's see. That's fur. That's silk. It's gotta be like a sheep. There's wool all the way down there. It's gotta be one closer. Oh, right here. Okay. It's the closest one. Think. I don't see any sheep over there. Right, so clearly, wool is a commodity. So I'll take these kids out while we're on our way anyway. What's up, bro? Get these little fights knocked out fast. Oh, looks like I lost one. Recruit a troop. Go that guy. Buy some products. Some wool. How much wool did I need to buy? 62. Six pieces of wool. One, two, three, four, five, six. 246. Hopefully it's worth it. Here's some dungalus, right? No, Sinoan. Where the freak is that place? That's all the way over here. Glad I caught that. <laughs> I 
Um, we have poachers. Let's see. Speaking as merchants. Would you have some help? Some hides from hunters. Started together as a gang. And he wants us to crush him. Let's do it. Let's go to the tavern district. Sell some prisoners. Don't want her as a companion. And let's get my boys leveled up a little. Yeah, we could spend a little bit of money on them. Already traded. And alrighty. Things manual laborers. I'm guessing that's just gonna be prisoners. Yep. Awesome. So we'll wait here until nighttime, fight those bandits. And when we'll uh we'll get it rolling. Fight or negotiate? Let's fight them. <laughs> I feel like they're gonna drop some decent equipment. Hold fire, give them hell! Oh, this is an interesting town. This is a real interesting village. Let's do this. Oh, they got bows. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This is a mistake, boys. Oh, my poor horse. I'll name him Lenny. Come on, Lenny. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, that's butcher. I thought these guys were mine. <laughs> oh shit. Oh no, my boy. Fuck you. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, so I lost two troops. Some four prisoners. Got me a longbow. I got some leather. Some arrows. Let's uh, do a little archery, shall we, boys? Alrighty, and we'll pick up next time after this.